Who's going first? Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. <laughs> Tamara, at the risk of sounding cheesy, I actually felt something special with you the first day we met. When I lost you during the Weezer show, I was literally like a lost puppy, search, <laughs> searching through the crowd. I fell free fast and hard. I couldn't put my finger on it at the time, but there was something about you. It made me melt. Darcy, writing my vows to you never seemed like a daunting task. I knew there wouldn't be a shortage of things I am grateful for when it comes to our relationship and the positivity and light you have brought into my life. <laughs> From that July day, I laid eyes on you for the first time and told Chantel over and over that you were the hottest guy I had ever seen to the fate that brought us back together that night to exchange numbers to despite it all, falling madly and deeply in love with each other in the short span of only six months. Five years later, I can look at you and tell you it was all definitely worth it. Dear Tamara, you were born November 9th, 1990. 27 and a half years later, had a lot of good times, some bad. You have truly blossomed into a wonderful, beautiful bride of today. And I am so proud of you and Darcy. I would like to thank Pat and Stu Rhodes for raising such a wonderful, kind young man who I am thrilled to call my son in law. Beautiful. Your bride. <laughs> wow, you're gorgeous. <laughs> you look really good too. Thanks. I'm looking forward to the next chapters in our life, but at the same time, I never want this one to end. We've gone on countless adventures, and I couldn't imagine having anyone else by my side. I've known for so long that I'm gonna marry you. But I'm so excited the day has finally come. I love you so much, Tamara. Can't wait to call you my wife. I'll see you at the altar. <laughs> to become a family, creating such a fun and adventurous life. We love you both so much. Darcy, welcome to the family. We couldn't be happier to have you. Tamara, you may be a Rhodes now, but you will always, always be, be our bond family. sister. wanted to be here to speak at your wedding. He didn't make it, but I know he's here. I have four wonderful grandsons as well, and now I have five. God bless your marriage forever and always. Our daughter the happiest we've ever seen her be. He is passionate and compassionate, has an amazing work ethic and a lot of patience. And I won't say because you need it. sometimes it's rare. We know that Darcy and Tamara will create so many more great memories and will always
always have a sparkle in their eyes for each other. We are so proud of you both, and we love you to bits. To the moon and back. I was there the day Darcy and Tamara met. I remember seeing these pretty girls, and Darcy's like, oh, let's go say hi to them. Anyway, lost my number one wingman that day. Tamara really well actually over the last few years and uh, she's a great animal mom, overall babe, she's everything Darcy would ever want in a woman and I'm happy for you. May this old bond lead to new roads together. You got it, good. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Rose. When you know, you know. And with you, I know. I will be your greatest fan, your ally in conflict, your partner in parenthood, your comrade in adventure, <laughs> your accomplice in mischief, and your consolation in disappointment. What I would do without you, I never want to know. Thank you for being you and allowing me to be me.